start to disappoint you first. Hello Shetty Bays, hello besties! I am here to look at this beautiful pile of books I said I was gonna read in January and um, I'm gonna disappoint you. I had a great plan in January, right? I said I'm gonna buy new books and then I'll read them because they're gonna be new and exciting. That was the logic and let me just say the logic failed me. As my fave Nick Miller would say, it is a foolproof plan unless it doesn't work, in which case it didn't work. I guess I'll start here. I said I was gonna read Boyfriend Material and Husband Material, both by Alexis Hall. And let me just tell you, I picked this up. I picked this up, I remember vividly. I was at the coffee shop and I opened the first page. I read chapter one and then I got to chapter two and then I was like, I'm not feeling it. And I closed it and I left. And I'm pretty sure I went to Barnes and Noble and I bought more books. <laughs> Help. So obviously since I didn't read boyfriend material, of course I didn't read um, husband material either because I can't I can't go to husband without the boyfriend. You know what I mean? This is a very important step. So didn't read this, didn't read this. TBR two, Larry zero. But are we even surprised? Of course we're not. Here's the thing though, I am gonna get to those books in, in the future. It's just whether that future is near is beyond my control. No, it's pretty much fully in my control. I just don't wanna do it. Now, wait a damn minute, here's the thing. A Million Junes by Emily Henry. I did the exact same thing with this one as I did Boyfriend Material and Husband Material, but I did it in audio format because I started listening to it and I'm pretty sure I got to like chapter 10 and then I just paused it. it it's on pause. I'm gonna come back to this. I just wasn't in the mood to listen to this, let's be honest. I started listening to it and it had some like ghost stuff and I really wasn't in the paranormal mood. So instead I read like Alien Smut. That's a conversation for my January wrap-up. Let's not talk about that now. Anyway, A Million Dudes. Definitely started listening to it. Definitely didn't finish. So um, TBR, it looks like, is on three. And Larry, it looks like still zero. Hey, sir, you came to support? Shut the fuck up. Then I said I was gonna read Just Another Love Song. I'm pretty sure this is like about a country singer and like it's a second chance romance too. I really was excited for this because the cover's so cute, but I didn't look at it all month. It's like the month came and went and this book went nowhere. It stayed in the same exact spot in that shelf right there. Let's read the first sentence just so that we can say we read something. I've imagined running into Hank roughly one million times since I last saw him years ago. That's it. So technically I started this book. It's on pause. <laughs> It's very cute, the cover. It has really bad reviews on Goodreads though. A little bit scared. I should stop looking at Goodreads reviews before I go into a book because I feel like that gets me not excited for it. Maybe that's what happened with me. That's that on that. Talk You Ever After by Miko Jean. Just to keep you on your toes, I did read this one. Not only did I read it, but I also liked it a lot. So I would say that that's like almost extra points. It's not because I'm gonna follow the rules of the TBR and the TBR is definitely still winning, but I did read this book. If we're getting technical, I listened to it. But regardless, this book and I, we did the damn thing. Honestly, I feel like every single time I read one of the books on my TBR, it should be a cause for celebration. Like I read one, so yeah, I didn't read the other 10, but I read one. Glass Half Empty is the bad one. Let's be glass half full. People. I said I was gonna read these three thrillers, so The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose, then The Wife Between Us, I think this is two authors, Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekanen, and then Behind Closed Doors, B.A. Paris, I said I was gonna read all three of these. And you know what they say, I didn't, but you know what they do say, I did read this one. I didn't read these. I do have The Wife Between Us in my mind. I have been thinking about this one. This one did not even cross my thoughts, not once. I didn't even really remember I put it on here until I just looked at the list, but this one has been crossing my mind. So I feel like I'm gonna put this one in next month's TBR, and it's gonna be, you know, a Valentine's Day read, even though it's a thriller and I'm pretty sure people would die and shit, but like, you know, vibes are vibes. But this one, I don't think it's ever gonna happen. Behind closed doors. It's so behind closed doors that I didn't even see it. But anyway, perfect marriage. Woo, read it. Didn't really like it, but read it. The Charm Offensive, Alison Cotron. Now, I'm pretty sure I put this here because I really liked Kiss Her Once For Me by this author. And then I said I was gonna read this one because I trusted the author, right? It, it seems like I didn't trust her all that much because I didn't read it. Again, didn't even pick it up, honestly. I think it might be in third person. It is. Oh wait, this is the one that's like The Bachelor. And it's MM. Oh man, I really wanted to read this one. What happened? Maybe I'll put this in next month's TBR too. Hmm. If you see next month's TBR looking exactly like this one, mind your business. The charm offensive wasn't that charming. It was in fact offensive. <laughs> we are never ever ever getting back together. I did listen to that song several times this month because I listen to Taylor Swift every day at least once. I have to hear her voice 
just to still feel that connection. But I, I didn't read this. So that's as close as I got to this book was listening to Taylor Swift. Why didn't I read this? Oh, this one's the, also the other Bachelor kind of book. But then it's F. The dust jacket seemed to have flown out. Oh my God, it's a rose. <gasps> How cute. It's getting Bachelor again. I was excited for this. But I think that the excitement died down as soon as I like put it down. I think that what I need to do is just never put books down. So maybe what I should do is pick this up for instance and then sit there staring at it for quite some time. And then maybe it'll connect with me. But it didn't. This is honestly depressing because here we go. Um, honey and spice. There was no honey and no spice in my life. I mean, I did read spice, but just not this one. This was another one that I was really excited about and it just didn't land quite where I wanted it to. And by that, I mean it didn't land anywhere because I didn't read it at all. This book starts with, do you like that? Do you like what? I was using my left breast as a stress ball. Hello? One could say that I started this book. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, highly suspicious and unfairly cute. I read this. I read this one by Talia Hibbert. It was a YA cutesy little book. I didn't really like it all that much, but I read it. This was definitely highly suspicious, but not unfairly cute. <laughs> oh, oh wow. I said I was gonna read this, didn't I? Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. I, I did say those words. I remember saying that. I didn't do it though. <laughs> this book excites me. I'm gonna read it next month. I'm gonna read it next month. Listen, I know I didn't read it this month, but I'm gonna read it next month. Mark my words on that one because actually just by flipping through it already got me excited. I feel like I could annotate the shit out of this. It looks so good. It's important to have a lot of sex with a lot of people. <laughs> I'm gonna read this. But I didn't though. Let's not let that distract you from the fact that I didn't do it. I said I was gonna read it a long time coming. I just don't have the paperback. I read it on Kindle. I did read it. I did read this one and not only did I read it but I absolutely fucking loved it by Megan Quinn. Definitely my favorite in the series and probably my favorite book by her in general. Read right along Naso Miku. I adored this book. So I did read this and I loved it. So even though I didn't read many books out of the TBR, the ones I did read I loved. The ones I did read that I loved. Didn't really like it but read it. I didn't really like it all that much but I read it. And last but certainly not least, Final Offer by Lauren Asher. This was my first read of the year actually. I wanted my first read of the year to be special and it was. It was because I spent it with Callahan and Alana. I will discuss it in my wrap up, but I did read it. I did rate it five stars, of course. Also, my nails matched the cover. Can we talk about that? It wasn't on purpose, but it just was a lucky coincidence. I think I had 15 books that I said I was gonna read. Out of those 15, let's see how many I read. One, two, three, ooh, four, five. I read five. With all of that being said, I love you so much, Shadi Bays. It doesn't matter which books you read off your TBR or which ones you don't. I honestly just have fun with this. I love making a TBR because I want to try to hold myself accountable, but then it's also fun to just not follow it. I honestly really like to fail. I think it's very human of me. If you didn't read any books off your TBR, as you should, I'm proud of you regardless. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be posting my wrap up tomorrow, I think, so you'll get to see which books I did read. Love you so much, anyways. Have such a good day. <laughs>